This video is brought to you by AKSIAS. Thank you. Sorry, I'm having to cut you down because there's too many questions that are being asked. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to one, one question. Uh, yeah. uh, first of all, congratulations to all of you, but I, my question would be very specific uh, to Ms. Ranadhi. You are, you are in IRS service, which needs, which will have a lots of training and information coming from the training itself. And at the same time, you need to prepare a lot for the examination. You need to read a lot. How do you manage the information coming from uh, information, you, you information that you learn from the training as well as for you train yourself for the examination? How do you manage? And I just wanted to know one more thing, like how a typical day would be in a working day in the training for you for covering both your training sessions and your preparation sessions that's it thank you okay uh, this is one of the most frequently asked questions actually uh, and it's understandable because many people don't want to leave their job as well so uh, i just want to clarify that i my i had finished my training in this attempt i am i am a 2014 batch irs so i am working in the field since the past two years uh, for me, when I decided to give this attempt, after skipping 2016, that when I decided to give this attempt, I knew what I had to face, that definitely I cannot quit my job, nor I can go on an extraordinary leave completely without pay leave. So I had accepted the limitations. So for people working with jobs, the first thing you have to erase is that inferiority complex. Then the success that you get is not proportional to the number of hours you put in your at your study table. It does not mean that somebody who is studying for 12 hours will anyway perform better than somebody who is studying for 4 hours. So erase that inferiority complex. Once you do that, then it becomes a matter of robotic planning, like without any emotion. Like I, I used to do, okay, I get 3 and a half hours on a work day. On weekdays, I get around 12 to 14 hours. I, club, I used to club those hours and after a week, these are the number of hours I used to have and these are the topics that I have. So how many hours I would give for each topic. That was the only thing I did. And I never thought the preparation was perfect or anything. But what my success should suggest is that if you do as per your plan, if you stick to your plans, if you do it perfectly in a focused manner, definitely you can achieve success. And to the second question of typical day of my work day, uh, I have to be in office at 9.30 a.m. Uh, I, I never got time to prepare in the morning. Uh, I'm not an early rising person. Uh, so 9.30 a.m. in office and because of GST last year, there was the work was a little hectic. Uh, July 1st, 2017, GST got introduced. So sometimes I used to come at 7.30 uh, back home, 7, 7.30. But by 8.30, I would keep away all the distractions and 8.30 to 11.30 or 12, three and a half hours only for this. You cannot have multitasking abilities, like you cannot be doing so many things. At that point in my life, clearing civil services with a good rank, getting into IS was the major target. And I have dedicated every free time that I had to this one core thing. So that's how you have to plan. Of course, as I said, we have limitations, people who are working and preparing with the job. But you should overcome your inferiority complex and give the best whatever you have. And that is that will be enough for you to succeed. This video is brought to you by AKSIAS.